Dr. Pepper Snapple is, is doing something that that seems almost unheard of in in marketing today, which is teaming with MTV Networks to take one of your smaller products and less successful products in the past and trying to catapult that to the top. Yeah, they came down and they said, we would like uh, to take a look at uh, three or four of these brands, one of which was Sundrop. And then they went out and they did their own research. They went into the streets of New York City, uh, passing out product and getting people's reactions to it. They went online to do research. They went onto the Facebook pages, talked to consumers, um, and found that the passion level around Sundrop was out of this world. And they felt that if they could replicate that passion that was in that three-state area of the Carolinas and Tennessee, we could then take that thing nationally and, and really make something of it for the millennial generation. But there was nothing before. You don't have a model for this. This is just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. No, I mean, if you can imagine this, me turning over a brand that I own and the marketing of it and giving it to some guys that they don't follow any uh, 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 process that we would normally do to develop, like, say, a Dr. Pepper commercial. We have a very precise way we go about developing creative. These guys don't have a process. And I turned it over to them and we trusted them to get in and we, you know, we worked alongside them and everything, but they did this themselves. And this thing is just, it's taken off. 3.5 million views on, on your you, first yeah, video you, that you launched, that MTV launched? Right, they, they, created, they created the, uh, the Drop It campaign and Drop It Lady. 3.5 million after three weeks on YouTube and more importantly is that our users, our consumers, our fans of the brand are making their own videos with the hopes of having user-generated content now launching on uh, MTV as well. So is there anything that you've learned from what MTV has actually done that, that I can apply, apply to, to other to brands? Dr. Pepper yeah, and I think there is. I think the stuff that we've learned from MTV is more about putting stuff out there and then continually learning and adjusting as you go through it. How so? Well, uh, for instance, as we look at Dr. Pepper, we have uh, used in our football program YouTube videos to have uh, our consumers let us know why they should get a college scholarship, which we gave over a million dollars away last fall. We're going to continue to do that this year, and we're upping the ante by doubling the amount of videos that we're going to uh, review and, and choose from in terms of the, uh, uh, the scholarship program. Was there a conversation that you had with the folks at MTV where you said, why is MTV doing this? Why are they taking this approach? Why do they want to team like a co with a company like ours to market a product in order to attract the millennials? Because they seem to have the shows to yeah. attract the millennials. Why do they need a soft drink? Everyone is looking for growth, right? MTV has a core asset, and that is they are the, the preeminent knowledge holder of uh, millennial insights. What they were looking for very creatively on their part is additional ways of generating revenue off of that asset. They were looking for partners that were uh, maybe didn't ha quite have the level of insights, but had the willingness to think differently, the willingness uh, not to be bureaucratic about it, and to move and make decisions and, and get on with the thing as opposed to getting hung up in a, a corporate you know, environment. Right, uh, so it's perfect because you know, if you go through Coke or, or Pepsi, they're, they're the two largest, and it exactly. is easier to go to the third yep. you know, in the group. And we have a very flat organization. Right. Uh, and they were dealing directly with me and about two other people in terms of making decisions.